Hi, welcome back. We did it. My Steelers did exactly what I thought they were going to do. They were going to play ugly football. They were going to play great defense and they're going to find a way to win. <laughs> That's exactly what we did because that is exactly who we are right now. And the funny thing about this is no, 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 we didn't score a touchdown. Who cares? We didn't score a touchdown. How about a bunch of field goals? How about field goals <laughs> over and over? Like, listen, that's who we are right now. That is who we are. And I have told everybody that nobody will listen to me. And I said it in my last video and I'll say it again in this video. This is why having somebody like Wilson or Justin Fields right now that can come in and manage our offense is exactly what we need. We didn't like we didn't do anything special. Our defense is just spectacular. We win games based on defense. Now, obviously, when you play a team that has a high powered offense, they're going to score more points than we're comfortable scoring. So there's a problem. So that's a bigger issue. But for teams that can't score, we're going to be in the game because our defense is going to keep us in the game. That's just who we're going to be. So we won the game. The Steelers are one and oh, they did some things that I thought they were going to do. And I'm excited about that. And I just want to let you know. Anytime I tell you something about my team, it is because I have spent time researching, watching, and I understand who we are, and I believe who we are. And I told you this is going to happen. So let's just get into the video. Things you wouldn't know if you're not a Steelers fan is we got off the field. We only had two, three and outs. This offense this year only had two, three and outs the entire game. That's going to keep our defense fresh and that's going to keep us ready to go. So that is why I've been saying we don't need a spectacular quarterback. We just need a quarterback that can get in there and not screw up. That is what we need. Also, did you see Deshaun Watson? Oh, did you see Joe Burrow? Yikes. Lamar, like, did you see what I'm saying now? So when I say that the Steelers are pillars of consistency, this is what I mean. We are consistent. History tells us we are consistently really good at defense and our offense is trying to figure it out. And as long as you can play really solid defense, you're going to be in a lot of football games. Now, do I hope our offense starts to score more points? Absolutely. Do I hope that we get better on offense? Of course I do. But right now, that's not who we are. That's not our identity. Our identity is in our defense. And they held a team to 10 points. Before I go on to this, let me just talk about the things that I love. The things that I loved, we hold them, we held them to 10 points. 10 points in an NFL game. Second thing I loved, Chris Boswell, Chris Boswell, Chris Boswell, Chris Boswell, Chris Boswell. He's the best player on our team last yesterday. Well, TJ Watt, you know, is arguably the best player on the team always. But Chris Boswell, Chris Boswell, Chris Boswell. Okay? Kick field goals. Make it simple. Do the simple things right. Line up, run the ball every now and again, mix it up with some pass plays, don't do anything too dynamic, and bring in Chris Boswell. <laughs> That's it. It's like this is our this is how we win games. Is it pretty? No. It doesn't have to be pretty. All that has to happen is you have to win the game. And we won the game. And so we're one and oh. It's a it's a road win. I love that we got a road win. Chris Boswell was amazing. Love that. I love to see them open the playbook in the second half. I thought the first half I was yelling at my TV because I was like, what the F is this? But second half, they opened up the playbook. Justin Fields looked calm. He looked like he knew exactly what he needed to do. And he didn't do too much. He literally did what he needed to do to get the job done. And I just want to say that offensive line played great. I was surprised. I think they're still young. We still have some work to do. But I was very surprised. So I love seeing them go out there and win. I love seeing them going out there and doing the things that the Steelers do. And I love them proving me right in the sense of we don't need a dynamic quarterback to win games right now. We will eventually. But right now, we're going to slow grind it. And we're going to get better. And we're going to get a little bit better. As long as that defense is the defense. I think we're going to be fine there. So let's talk about the things I don't understand, but whatever. I don't understand why we are running Patterson in for on third down. He's not a running back. I don't understand what that set up. Maybe it set up something longer down the, down the road, but I kind of feel like Arthur Smith wasn't sure what he had with Justin Fields. And so it was almost like it took us a minute to kind of get us going, but I don't, 
Again, those are kind of like the mechanics of football that somebody that's probably breaking down film can say, oh, they did this to open up this. And if that's the case, that's fine. It's just watching it. I didn't really understand it, but it kind of was what it was. The other thing I thought was interesting is was the decision to go for it on fourth down instead of kicking a field goal. I don't understand that decision, but again, whatever. You want to know why I'm going to say whatever? Because I trust Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin. I trust Mike Tomlin to do the things he's supposed to do. So whatever. I'll just give that to whatever. The things that I hated, I did not love that we were stalled on offense, although I expect it. I don't love it when it happens. It's frustrating. However, I will say last year when we got stalled on, on offense, it was three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. At least this year when we got stalled on offense, we still got a couple of first downs and we just didn't go any further. And so that was kind of annoying and I didn't, I hated that. I also hated, I not hated, I hate the fact that TJ Watt cannot get a holding call to save his life. If you watch that football game, the right tackle was literally hugging TJ Watt. He was hugging him, literally hugging him to the fact to where the announcers were like, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like terrible, 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 terrible. I hate the NFL will not give TJ Watt a consistent holding call. It is ridiculous, and I'm tired of it. And again, that's not on the Steelers, but I hate that the NFL has decided that TJ Watt doesn't need those calls. It's ridiculous. I We went out. Our punter last year was not very good. We go out. We get a new punter. Punter looks great. First game of the season, he hurts himself. Didn't love that. Again, there's nothing you can do, really. Sport, It's sports. It's what you get hurt. It's football. It is what it is. But I did not love that we lost our punter so early in the season. So that's not great. And that didn't make me feel good. But it kind of is what it is, right? You next man up, you you deal with it, you move on and you figure it out. And I expect them to get a good punter to replace him. I'm sure there are a lot of punters out there that would love the opportunity to come and be a punter for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> Let's talk about the random things. There's, I only have a couple. Obviously, my first random thing is the officiating for the game was absolutely atrocious. The officiating for NFL games continues to be atrocious. And you know what? The truth is officiating in football is really bad. These guys are wearing earpieces. These guys can do replays. These guys have New York on the line. They're doing all of these things and the officiating is still bad. So that is either telling me that these sports organizations, so college football and, and the NFL, wants them to do, wants them to be terrible. That's the only thing I can come up with is that they want them to have these terrible calls because it is so obvious some of these plays that are having or some of the times when they're throwing their flags. We need to normalize officiating being able to pick up their flags on these phantom calls. It is disgusting. The officiating was terrible. It was absolutely terrible in the Steelers game. The second random thing I noticed, and it's kind of funny, but when a defensive guy has an interception literally in his hands and it hits him in both of his hands and he drops the ball, I don't know why that's so funny for me. Like, I don't like, they don't play offense for a reason. I like, I know, but it's so funny to me to watch them go up, make these extremely athletic plays, spin their bodies around, twist it around and flip themselves and do all these things only to drop the ball. So it's just funny to me anytime. And we had a guy that missed an interception, hit both of his hands. There's no reason for him to drop it besides the fact that he plays defense and not offense. But it's just funny to me whenever I watch these guys just up and just drop balls. I don't understand how that happens, but it is what it is, I guess. So overall, we won the game. The Steelers did what they were supposed to do. First game of the season, it was a road game. We won the game. Can we clean up some things? Absolutely. Do I expect us to look better in week two? Absolutely. We have another road game. We're going to Denver. We're playing outside this time. We also are playing against a team that didn't win this week, so I don't know what's going to happen. I also Obviously, I'll make another video this week about the Steelers and their expectations. So for those of you that aren't sure of my posting schedule, I posted it. I posted my posting schedule in the community tab. And so what I will do is I will post videos about Texas, Colorado, the Steelers every week before they play. And then after the week, after they play, I will have a reaction video. So that is what I'm going to do because it's actually fun for me to make these videos because I actually take notes during the game. And then I just talk about the notes that I took. So I usually make these videos right after the game. I actually, right after the game, give or take. So what usually happens is the game ends 
And then I go through my notes and then I organize the notes I want to take. And then I literally hit record. And I don't know what I'm going to say at the beginning, but this is just what I'm doing. And so it's been kind of cool to see how this has happened the last two weeks. It is hard. It's a lot of time, but it's kind of fun to see the finished product, product once I posted it on my channel. The last thing I'll say here is just like I do in my college football videos, at the very end of this, you're going to get a sped up version of the things that I'm concerned about. It's going to be no different for this video. So I will let that roll. But as always, here we go. The things that I'm keeping an eye on is, when are we going to score a touchdown on offense? <laughs> and you know what's kind of crazy? Yesterday I was thinking, I think our defense might score a touchdown before our offense scores a touchdown. And that's a little bit concerning in a lot of ways, but then in a lot of ways, it's totally Steelers football. So it just kind of is what it is, but I'm going to be paying attention to see when we get an offensive touchdown and how we get that offensive touchdown. Does it come in the red zone and we execute, or does it come on a long play? I'm very fascinated to see when we get our first touchdown. Second thing I'm going, I'm going to be paying attention to is our offensive line. I want to see how they continue to grow. In my conversations I had with the content creators, one of the things I think a couple of people said, our offensive line is going to continue to get better as the season goes on. And I think that's what happens when you have a bunch of new guys and your offensive line is young, is together you grow and you get better. So I'm hoping to see that growth as time goes by. The other thing I'm just going to keep an eye on, again, this is game two, is the play calling. Obviously, I don't know if they were prepared to have Fields instead of Wilson. I don't know how much the game plan really changed because of that, but I'm very curious to see how that continues. I'm curious to see if, as we move forward, do we start off game two differently than we started off game one? Is our offense progressing? I felt like we started to take a little bit more chances in game in, in game two, <laughs> in, the second, in the second half. I think we started using a little bit more play action because we established the run, so I'm very curious to see what that looks like moving forward. And I just want to say, listen, the other thing I'll be paying attention to is how much heavy lifting our defense has to do. I think it's okay at the beginning of the season to lean on that defense because that is the strength of our team. To be fair, a lot of people making a lot of money are playing on that defense, so I totally understand it. I'm very curious to see how it starts to transition with our offense doing more and not depending on our defense so much. That doesn't mean I expect our defense to fall off. It just means we need to get to some balance of football and try to alleviate some of the pressure on our defense to constantly make a play. So my hope is that it just gets better over time. But listen, after week one, this, this is kind of where I expected it to be. I expected us to win this game. It is what it is. They're doing everything I thought they were going to do. Football is back. These are all the things that are top of mind. And so listen, if the football season's back, we'll see what happens in week two. We play on Sunday. We'll line it up again and we'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, I like what I'm seeing. I like the growth. I like the development. The Steelers are being the Steelers. And I like when my teams do things that I expect them to do or when they exceed my expectations in certain ways. So I will not complain and I will stop talking and I will see you again in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend and leave your comments below. I love to hear what you have to say. And as I end all of my Steelers videos, here we go. <laughs>